Showing new product arrivals in your online store is a proven way to boost sales. That's why popular stores like Amazon, Walmart, and all others have a new arrivals widget. In this video, we'll show you how to display new products in WooCommerce using a quick and easy drag and drop block in minutes. This video is brought to you by Seedprod, the number one landing page builder for WordPress with over 1 million users. It features a drag and drop page editor that makes creating pages quick and easy for everyone. Please subscribe to the channel for more videos and to learn how Seedprod can help create amazing landing pages for you. So let's head over to your WordPress dashboard and I have a completely clean installation. So the first thing we want to do is install WooCommerce. If you've already done this, please check out the timestamps in the description below so you can skip ahead. I'm just going to do a quick install though. I'm not going to go through the full process. So here's WooCommerce. I'm going to click on install now and I'm going to click on activate. Now this is going to go through the store details, the industry product types, business details, and the theme. I'm going to skip most of this and just skip the setup store details. However, if you check out this link on WP Beginner, I'm going to leave a link in the description for you. And this is WooCommerce Made Simple, a step-by-step -step tutorial. So this is a great article to check out that'll help you walk through all of these steps. So I'm going to go ahead and skip the setup and click no thanks. So after WooCommerce is installed, I'm going to come over to Appearance and Themes and add new. And I'm just going to add a theme called Storefront. This is a fantastic free theme. So let's go ahead and install and activate. Now you don't have to use Storefront. If you have another theme, that's totally fine. Great, so now if we hover over here, we can see that we have a visit store section. So we can go ahead and here is the store using Storefront. It's very simple and basic looking right now. So let's go under WooCommerce and Home. And I'm gonna come down to Personalize My Store. And right here, we can import some sample products. So I'm gonna import products. This is just to give you an idea of what your store will look like with real products inside of it. Great, so now that that's done, you can see I have some products here. It's just some fake clothing. We have hats and sweaters and belts, etc. Next, I wanna install the number one page builder for WordPress called Seedprod. So head on over to cprod.com and click the orange button here to grab cprod. In this video, I'm going to be using the pro version. And once you have an account, let's go ahead and log in. Let's enter your email address and password that you signed up with. And once you're logged in, let's click on the downloads tab. And then let's click the orange button here to download the zip file of the plugin. We'll also need the license key here. So let's click the little icon here to copy that. And we can close this window. On the left-hand side, let's come over to plugins and add new and upload plugin. Next, we can drag this zip file right here onto the choose file button, or you can click choose file to select the zip file from your hard drive. Let's go ahead and install now and activate the plugin. Right here, let's paste in that license key that we got and verify key. And you should get a green success message up here in the top right corner. If you're using the same browser as I am or similar, you can close this tab here at the bottom. Next, let's click on pages on the left-hand side in the menu. And now CPR has coming soon mode, a maintenance mode, a login page that you can customize and a 404 page. You can also create custom landing pages. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on this button. And CPR is gonna ask you to choose a new page template. So you can start from scratch with a blank template if you wish, or you can select one of the 100 plus professionally designed templates that come with Seedprod. You can also filter these up here with the button. So if you want a thank you page template, you can click here and it'll filter those. Webinar, sales, etc. So I'm gonna go ahead and look maybe at the sales pages. And let's say we have a nice professionally made store up here, but we want a separate landing page just to use maybe for some Facebook marketing or for some other purpose. So I'm going to go ahead with this one right here and I'll just call this sales page. You can call it whatever makes sense for you. And of course you could do a thank you page or some other type of page instead of a sales page. I'm just showing you a quick example here. So let's save and start editing the page. And now this is the Seedprod page builder and you can see the blocks on the left hand side and then your page on the right hand side. And you'll see all of these borders around all of the elements on the page. And these are your blocks and sections and rows and columns. And you'll see these little icons. So this one is to move a block. This one is to check out the block settings. So if I click on this block for the menu, you can see that the settings are updated on the left hand side here. Get back to the blocks. I can just click on the blocks icon here. But for this example, I'm going to get rid of this top section. So I'm just gonna hit the trash can and that whole section is now gone. And then I come down the page and I'm going to get rid of the footer here as well. That way we don't have any traffic leaks. We're just looking right at the landing page and looking to push people into our products. Now we can customize everything on this page. So for example, this element is an image. And if I click on it on the left-hand side, we can see the image here. So we can upload our own or delete this. So you can use your own image and just upload this to your media library, or you can choose from a stock image here as well. I'm just gonna type in clothing. You can see that some options come up here. So I'm gonna go ahead with this picture. And there we have a picture of some clothing and accessories. 
and I can replace the heading here. So let's say our latest fashion items. And we can just drag this to the left and right to adjust the size of our font here. Same thing with this section. We go to the block settings and you can replace the text here, the alignment, the size. We also have a button here. So maybe instead of this, we can delete this and let's put an opt-in form right in here instead. If I click here. I'm going to hide the name box so they just enter their email. And instead of it saying submit, I'm going to change this to get your instant coupon so maybe they could sign up to your newsletter but at the same time they get an instant coupon for five percent ten percent off all right so let's say we edited the whole page so all of these are clothing sections or promotions for our line we can come down here to the bottom and we have the woocommerce blocks here so we have add to cart checkout cart lots of different options here but the one we're looking at this video is recent products so we can drag this right out onto our page and here we can see a bunch of our items are now imported and if you click on the block settings here, you'll see the settings for this block, how many columns we want. So let's say maybe we want three instead of four wide. If we want pagination, we could go ahead and add that. And this would only be shown if you limit the amount of blocks that you want to see. So let's say six. And there we can see we have some pagination here above and below. You can show an items count. So it'll say how many items you're showing and show the order by. So by default, this would be the sorted by recent and at the bottom here we have query so we can change the query right now it's at recent products but we could for example change this to best selling or top rated products or featured products or even a custom query where we can change to only show items by a certain tag category id etc there's lots of different customization here this example will just go with let's say best selling products and you can see the options available now to the surfer under the advanced tab we have some alignment so if i come down here you can left align center or right align i'm actually going to center that so the buttons are in the middle we have the description topography, the price topography, so you can edit all of this, the price color, and the sale badge color. We also have the button, so you can change the style of that. Maybe you want vintage, or ghost, or link, whatever you wish. We have the color topography and the button size, so if you want them really big, you could do that, or just keep it medium. We have the border radius, so this is just if they're going to have rounded edges or not. I'm going to keep these just a little bit rounded the image you can add a shadow to so let's say a medium shadow you can see that that added here or say an extra large or two time extra large the border radius on these so you can make those a little bit round too if you like we have a border style so you could have it solid the color of the border the width any white space padding so you can see there's a little bit here maybe i'll bring that in just a little bit to make it pop a bit next we come down we have spacing so we can add some top margin to the whole block this is the whole section and some padding on the inside here so let's say if we add 10 actually you don't really see that too well let's say 50 you can see how that comes in by about 50 pixels all right great so now if you're happy with your page we can go ahead and save this and put it live if you added an opt-in form here you can actually connect this under the connect tab to your favorite email marketing service so you just create an account with one of these services let's say for example mailer light you would just click connect and then connect a new account and they will provide you with an API key and you can just paste that in here. They will have documentation and support to help you find or set up that API key if you need help. Usually it's quite easy. You can give this an optional connection name if you like and then go ahead and connect it and you're all set. On the third tab, we have page settings. So here's, you, here's where you can change your page title, the page URL, the page status. You can also change the page status right here from this little drop down button. You can also add a seed prod link to the bottom right corner of your page. It'll be a little button here. So let's go ahead and add that so you can see that. And if you want, you can join our affiliate program and get 20% commission on all sales. You can enable isolation mode and this will help prevent conflicts with your theme or any other plugins. And if you need to, you can paste your Facebook app ID right in here. Under the SEO tab, we highly recommend that you install all in one SEO. This is the number one WordPress SEO plugin with some fantastic features. And the same thing goes for analytics with Monster Insights, both great plugins to check out. Under the scripts tab, we have header, body, and footer. So you can paste any scripts into those areas if you need to. And here we have the custom domain area where you can assign a domain name to one of the landing pages. So if you have a long landing page name, you could buy a second domain that's shorter and you could link that towards the landing page. If you need more information, check out the documentation on that. Let's go ahead and save our page. And then I'm going to publish this page and let's see it live. And there we go we can see our page a custom landing page with an opt-in form we had our recent block which we can customize to show popularity average rating latest high to low or low to high as well we're showing the most popular ones here but we can change that to recent or top rated so then they would simply click on add to cart and you can see that that was added or they can click on the item to get more information 
And you can see here we have it added to our cart, that one item that we clicked on. Now that you know how to display new products in WooCommerce, maybe you would like to check out this video on how to make a thank you page in WordPress. This is a great customized page to show to people after they have made a purchase. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.